Hey guys, Disco here, and today we are doing our final, uh, today we're doing, we're f doing the makeup level, or not level, we're doing the makeup video where I'm just gonna go through what, uh, the free levels that I missed some, the free DLC levels that I missed something, and try my hardest to, uh, finish them. This wasn't one of the free correct, yes, okay. It was that one, this one, and then the squad, okay. Unfortunately, I won't be able to skip through the, you know, I'll have to play for the levels fully, and I won't be able to skip for a bit the first, like, part, but I'll do what I can. great planet now stands on the brink of destruction. I, Maximus, jor must try to save my son, Cal, by sending him off-planet with all our civilization's genetic knowledge hidden in his tiny baby pants. Okay. Oh! So it was for the computer? What? That's... interesting. I wasn't expecting it to be for the computer. Okay, so I'll see. I'll try. During this time and ended my four years of college, so it has been a while. I do apologize. Okay, and then we just messes it again. And what's this one, right? Yeah. And now. Okay, we and just like that, we beat it. We're now done with one of three. I guess I just didn't realize it'd be through the computer because that just didn't make sense to me, I guess, but we're, all, we're already off to a great spot, a uh, great, great start. I, I just finished this level. We just need to 100%, we just need to, now we just have to play through it and beat it. And I, that shouldn't be that, take that long. But yeah, this we're nearing the end of the game. For is anyone interested? We are in fact nearing the end. you guys have been enjoying this series especially now that well this is it literally once I beat all these levels that's it then I'll finish it off so it says 100 percent and that will be the end of it it does upset me that I'm almost done with this game just in the sense of I really did enjoy um, playing this for the channel I'm still kind of, I am so upset that there was like that super like long months period where I was unable to play the game due to you know all the TV issues and the, those issues not getting fixed for such a long time but now that they are fixed I'm just you know try to make make up for lost time and I feel like I've been doing that pretty well. I'm blazing, for, I'm blazing for the game. Now I know like what I'm doing. Right. It is five o'clock. It's officially two hours out from the Batman. So Be honest, I'm, I'm, fuck, I'm fucking nervous, guys. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited. I'm, I'm very excited, but like... Oh, please don't be bad. Please don't be fucking bad. A lot of people I really trust and respect tell me that it's going to be really good, but... God, everything you hear about this movie makes me nervous. I'm gonna go and get my car washed, I'm gonna go and pick up my buddy, and then I will come back on here, and I will let you guys know what it's done. God, this shit better not be bad. Okay, that dumbass is that. Not bad. Max, it, it, it was pretty fucking great. Just 100% spoiler free, solid 8 out of 10. It is 100% what the trailers promise you. Individually, it is fucking spectacular. I honestly think this might be the best Batman movie since the Dark one of the best Batman movies that I have seen. That doesn't mean that it is a perfect movie and it was 
100% amazing. You should go out and see it immediately. No, but that's also because it's not particularly my Batman. This take of Batman exactly what it's It seems like the only way to damage them, at least consistently that I've gathered, is just to play Jor-El or his wife and then just keep shooting them. It's the Dragon Boys. This is the only one that I knew how to get um, the thing that I missed. The level before this, I didn't, I didn't, you know, do it, no, but that's done now. So now we just have to finish off this level, then we'll do the last two levels, and then I'll be done. the characters the game gave me, okay. See you guys next time I like, think of something funny, alright, peace. You know, while I didn't retexture anything, it's not 100% 
lighting, kind of. Excuse the fact that I look like shit, I just woke up. A lot of the heavy lifting is actually being done by post-processing effects. So like effects that are added to the camera after the fact. Think like when you take a picture into Instagram and then you start tweaking the, the settings. Exposure, bloom, the vignette around it, that, that sort of thing. I'll show you guys an example. Let's turn this to the side again. So here's shot six as it is now. Look, looks, looks pretty good, right? Now if I turn off the, the primary light of this scene, which is the sun, it changes, but but not by too substantial an amount. And that's just because since this is all real-time lighting, there's not actually any baked in bounce light bouncing back onto the scene. I plan to add that manually later, but right now this is just the sun. If I turn off all of my post-processing effects, the scene completely changes. Which is funny because I'm actually not using that many effects. I'm only using these these five effects over here. As well as a pretty substantial amount of anti-aliasing, but that that's I'm not counting that. Anti-aliasing just kind of smooths things out so it's not like pixelated and janky on like slopes and stuff. Yeah. I'll actually show you guys what each effect does. So the first effect is ambient occlusion. And while ambient occlusion is only really supposed to be the like black line in between the contact of two objects, in this scene it's basically working as a secondary source of shadows. Turning it off and on, you can see it in like the base of the buildings there where the shadows turn on and off with the uh, effect. The next effect is bloom, which is really just how the light kind of blows out around the, uh, the trees up here. It's a little bit harder to see on my phone, but I can promise in real life it is uh, a lot more effective of a set dresser. The color grading is the biggest part. This is me shifting colors uh, to kind of look the way that I want them, adjusting saturation, contrast. Uh, all of that sort of stuff. This also has the Aces color LUT in it, which probably means nothing to most of you, but that is kind of an industry standard for coloring. So if I turn that on and off, you can see the whole scene and again changes kind of entirely. Boy, so now, ever so slight vignette on my cameras that we just uh, is really just that dark halo off. around the edges of the camera. And I also have That's a very, very subtle so well off now. field interacting with the camera right now. You can kind of see it real up close on this grass here if I turn it on and off. Where it just kind of adds an extra little bit of depth to the camera and makes things feel a little closer. Essentially, what my job right now is, is like polishing a scene. I know how to make models, I know how to texture models, I know how to put models in a scene. Now my job is trying to make the scene look as good as possible using what I can. While it's not technically only using light, it's still called a relight because everything I've done just affects how it appears visually. I haven't edited any models, I haven't touched any textures, I haven't done any of that. The most substantial swap I did is I swapped out the skybox so it could change the lighting a little bit. The skybox is literally the sky. They made the sky less overcast. But yeah, I, uh, I know this isn't my usual content, but I, I hope that made sense. It is my last mm. break. Like, like, period. I'm on, sp I'm on spring break right now, and I'm in senior year. This this, this is it. Well, did, yeah, I came back home. I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm spending my entire day relaxing. Like, ironically enough, I'm, I am actually debating going back early to get some work done. Jesus Christ, they really have bred the adult brain into me. However, I, I was relaxing uh, good enough yesterday and most of today that I completely forgot. Uh, this. I also apparently forgot before I left because I forgot to bring back the Regrettable Superhero of the Week book. So, uh, welcome to Regrettable the Sidekick of the Week this week. Uh, the weekly, not weekly show where I pick one sidekick out of the league of Regrettable Sidekicks and then I brought him the fuck down. Pick our sidekick. Alright, we're fresh waters, unbroken territory. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, it's so nice to break the seal of the book. I know as a comics collector that's fucking sadistic of me, but God, it feels good. All right, anyway, any, many, miny, you. Stamp! First sidekick that we're picking. That, that sure is a name. Sweet, merciful God, tell me that is not your fucking catch. There's two sexies Batmans. This is amazing. Make jokes and cosplay for strangers online, and I want to steal this guy's money, money already. I will say, he admittedly has a better costume than, like, most of the regrettable superheroes I've looked at. What? I I know that. I don't get why it's so picky sometimes. Sometimes it just does not like you. I literally just did it. You saw me solve it. 
I just solved it, and then it's acting like I'm wrong. What? I jolted it perfectly. I did exactly that. There we go. I was dumb. I just gotta go through, uh, probably mine and Orange's favorite DLC level now. And now it's a cake. Finish her off. Let's quickly 100% this game and be on our way, boys. Do you like the fact that Tim Drake and every goddamn future storyline that we have seen ends up becoming a murderer of some variety? Who do you think should be Batman when Batman is gone? Should it be Tim Drake, Cassandra Cain, Jace Fox, or whoever the hell you think it should be? So what did I miss? I may have missed something with the computer. I'll admit that. So it's not... What is the arrow on? What is the arrow on? So it's not something here, and it's not in the final part of the level, so it's... And it wasn't outside, to my knowledge. What the hell is the arrow on? Oh, 
And just as like a, I fucked up, I'm sorry sort of thing, uh, if you use code HOPE at checkout, you will get 10% off your order. Okay, I hope. That's only until March 20th, so um, I, I would do Yeah. It makes me happy that the new 52 was this game. I, I never fully understood why they chose that outfit, but they did. This is fitting because she's with Power Girl, just like in some of the new 52 comics. That's great. Uh, those, those were fun comics. It was just weird seeing her, like, you know, Harley Quinn of all people is Power Girl. Like, that, that's Power Girl's sidekick, no less. That was... That was... Kind of, that was a, that was a funny time. But yeah, so I'm very confused as to what I missed. I'm going to try my best, because the arrow will point to like whatever, so as long as I find it, the arrow will be pointing on it. So I just have to basically go through the level normally until I can get there. So I just need to figure out what I missed. The arrow is pointing somewhere I'll fly and then just see what it points to. Oh right, it was the stuff up here. I completely forgot this one. Boom, we're done, hundred percent it. Boom, done, game easy, over. Let's go. Not fully, not quite. But yeah, it's over. <laughs> All the levels are fully done. Are you guys excited that you made it to the end of the game? Because I'm sad about it. I love this game and seeing it go kind of hurts. It hurts quite a bit. But yeah, let's do this. Let's do this 22 minutes and all I did was get three mini games that I missed. Okay. So. Hey, Captain Vivian Harley. The boy. Uh, uh, the face of this channel just was the colored pigtails and not the hat. And Captain, uh, let's be honest here, probably this, probably this goes first cosplay Captain Vivian over here. Let's go. <laughs> Although I have nothing to do that cosplay, but maybe someday. And the uh, Uh, 
If you hear like a weird scratching noise, it's me messing with my ear. Uh, I, I don't think there's an issue with it, but like it feels rough, like, as I'm sure you, you guys, I'm sure have an idea of how like your ears feel. Mine are kind of like rough. One of my ears, the other one is how you would expect an ear to feel. The other one is noticeably like, all, like weird. It feels very rough. And I'm pretty sure, because as I've just been like messing with it, I've gotten some of it off. It feels better than it has for a while, but there's still quite a lot on there. So I'm not sure if how I'm gonna get it off, because I'm struggling, but I'm trying. But yeah, well, we have we're about to be done. There's Do we get? We got blue. Uh, okay. So it's blue, blue, blue. Okay, it was pink, blue, orange, red. Okay. Pink, blue, or orange and red. And game over. Gentlemen. At least the level. Nah, we're just gonna skip through all this because I've already had all this. And that that's the outside of the prison, I guess. Boy, so let's finish it off. We are at uh, okay, well, while it's loading, uh, Bat Cow, Darkest Side Batman, Beast Boy, Black Hand, Black Manta, Blue Beetle, Firefly, Booster Gold. Brainiac Minion, Bronze Tiger, Captain Cold, Catwoman, and then 60s Catwoman, Cheshire, Composite Superman, Bane, Atrocitus, The Atom, Arkillo, Aquaman, Ambush Bug, Alfred, 60s Alfred, Hawk Girl, Heat Wave, Hush, Nightwing, Supergirl, Normal, Power, Superboy, Star Girl, Sinister Core Warrior, Mr. Freeze, Metallo, Manchester Black, Man Bat, Mad Hatter, Lope, Lope. Oh. Nobody on there. So the cool thing about Lobo is this. Or, I swear, I'm not sure what I see. I, one of the games he writes a flipping dolphin. I guess it's not this one, or he just won't write it for some reason. I'm not sure. Waterfleece, Crypto the Super Dog, Kilowog, Kevin Smith, Cal Calabac, John Stewart, Indigo Tribe Warrior, Croc Henchman, Cyborg Superman, 
Daxstar, Dr. Fate, Doomsday, Etrigan, Firestorm, Frankenstein, Giganta, Gorilla Grodd, The Grey Ghost, Grayson, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Sinistro, The Riddler, Reverse Flash, Red Hood, Reach Warrior, The 60s Penguin, and Normal Penguin, Parasite, Orion, Orange Construct Warrior, Superman Solar Suit, Swamp Thing, and now New 52 Swamp Thing. Ultra Human Knight, Vibe, Wonder Girl, Zamron Warrior, Zatanna, The Fierce Flame, and now we gotta wait 50 years for it to load, so, you know, that's fun. And as he says, 97.2, you might be wondering. Why is it say nice so by two? Because we are not playing on it. Uh, so let's switch the characters I enjoy. That's a nice little send off. So, Blease, as Orange knows, I played her a lot back in the day. So we'll do Blease and uh, Power Girl, because I played Power Girl so much in this series. So, yeah, this I feel like this will be a fun way to send off. A character I may not have played much, but I really like, and a character that I played a lot of and still enjoy. So now we just gotta send her off. Let's send her off, boys. And and all right. So remember, it said like ninety-seven point two. Let's finish her off. Uh, what do we got here? We got. Batcopter, Bat Rocket Batman Pod, Bat Rocket Robin Pod, The Bat Wings, the Brand X School Ship, Green Lantern Jet, Javelin, The Joker Helicopter, Orange Lantern Spacecraft, The Bat, Batman's Whirly Bat, Invisible Jet, Invisible Invisible Ship, Invisible Jet was the first one. The DLC is the Black Zero Drop Shit, and then the Dark Side Hover Cannon. Now Now, we end it. Classic TV Batmobile, Classic TV Mini Batmobile, The Banana Truck, Bane's Tumbler, Bane's Mole Machine, Batman's Buggy, The Bat Cycle, The Batmobile, Battle of 1989, Catwoman's Motorcycle, Cyborg Sports Car, The Flashmobile, The Joker Steamroller, Bruce Wayne's Compact Sports Car, Robin's Red Cycle, Batmobile 1944 is the first DLC one, and then The Joker Mobile, The Bat Pod, The Tumbler, Armored Car, Aero cycle, Harley Quinn's hammer truck, and Harley Quinn's motorcycle. And yeah. We got one more thing. It says 100% and it's flashing, boys. We did it. But there is one more piece to the perfect send off. Don't you guys worry. Oh my god, I forgot this does. Okay, don't you guys worry. We're, we're, I have a special send-off plan. I just need to... Happy... Uh, we, I got a perfect send-off plan. We just gotta get to it. All right, boys, well, let's get to the perfect send-off and send this game off right. It was an honor 
and the privilege. 100% it for you guys. I do really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see any other league, us 100% any other league of games, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see me and Orange play this game for some reason, again, let me know. I'll see. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, at least for the time being, it's over. It upsets me. But yeah, now. Oh, what's this? A lover that's never been there before. And then when you press it, money shoots out. Whoa. This only happens at 100% game. This is the only time you get to make it rain like your Bruce Wayne. So while this is going, thank you guys so much for watching the 100% rod. It means, it means a lot to us if you did watch it. And this was kind of a special series for me because of how much I really like this game. So yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, ring the bell, do all the algorithmic garbage. It means a lot to us and it helps us out a lot. And yeah. As soon as this starts raining money, um, I, we will, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as it starts raining money. I feel like ending it on Power Girl and Blees is kind of, is nice, for me at least. And yeah, as you guys can see, I'm rich. Super rich. Almost, in eight, almost at 18 million, or 18 billion, sorry, in my bank account, but yeah. I will see you guys in the next series, which unfortunately will not be this game. Let's just send down that sweet hundred cents. And yeah, bye guys.